Disney Dream Master Guide. Today, we're going to dive into everything on board the Disney Dream with Disney Cruise Line. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Anne with some more of your Diz needs and today we're doing a deep dive into the Dream. Disney Cruise Line has three classes of ships. The Magic Class, the Dream Class, and the Triton Class. The Disney Dream is the first in the Dream Class. The maiden voyage was on January 26, 2011. Passenger capacity is 4,000. The Dream's ports of call are currently Castaway Key, Disney Cruise Line's private island, and the Bahamas. The Disney Dream currently does three and four night sailings out of Port Canaveral. I do believe that will be changing over the next year, once the Wish starts sailing next summer. So let's start off with the food. That's always a good place to start in my opinion. There are three main dining restaurants on the Disney Dream. Animator's Palette, Royal Palace, and the Enchanted Garden. Animator's Palette has a state-of-the-art dinner show where you can dine like a king or a queen in a classic Disney fairy tale at the Royal Palace and save an arboretum of appetizing delights in a serene conservatory setting at Enchanted Garden. They also have breakfast, lunch, and dinner available at Cabana's. That's their buffet restaurant. For burgers, chicken, pizza, and salads, you can go to Flo's Cafe. Flo's Cafe is their outdoor eatery with three food stations, Luigi's Pizza, Tomater's Grill, and Fillmore's Favorites. And the french fries are amazing. Definitely get those. There's also smoothies or ice creams at the Frozone Treats or Ice Cream. In addition to all of that, they also have 24-hour in-room dining. And there are two restaurants that are adult exclusive dining. The three main dining restaurants will be included with the cost of your cruise. Dining times are early and late, early being 545 and late typically being 815. And you will have rotational dining. What that means is that you will rotate through the three main dining restaurants. You will have a team of a head server, main server, and beverage server. Every evening as you rotate through the restaurants, your servers will rotate with you. That's a lot of fun because they get to know your preferences, they have little magic tricks for the kids. It's just really neat to have the same servers every evening. And you tip the dining team in the gratuities at the end of the cruise. I actually like to prepay those gratuities, but that's how you tip them. You can also add more gratuities for them at the end of the cruise if you would like. When you go to Palo and Remy, there is an upcharge and you will do the tip accordingly with that. Palo is a northern Italian restaurant with a modern twist. It's named after the signature long poles used by gondoliers in Venice. Paolo is an adult exclusive restaurant and it has a beautiful view of the sea. Fine Italian cookery begins with artfully prepared antipasti, soft potato gnocchi, and tomato sauce with kale, calamari, or sip on a steaming stew of seafood favorites scented with basil and garlic. Continue with a plate of classic pastas, penne arrabbiata. For your main course, they have dishes such as seared sea scallops on celery root puree. They have a house favorite, which is a piquant Dover sole filleted tableside, garnished with nut brown butter with chopped capers. They also have an abundance of fine European wines and Italian American inspired cocktails. Like the Bellini, the Italian surfer, they have tiramisu and panna cotta for dessert, but one of the absolute favorites is their house dish, the chocolate souffle with vanilla bean and chocolate sauce. They also have a wine pairing with dinner that can be purchased. There's also an outside deck if you would like to dine al fresco. Paolo does have a dress code, nice slacks, dresses, it's not as strict as Remy, but you do want to dress up a little bit. Our favorite at Paolo is the brunch. They have brunch or dinner. You can get one reservation for each. The other adult dining restaurant is Remy. Remy is an adult exclusive restaurant. A French inspired menu of superior seasonal ingredients ensures dining at Remy is always a first rate gastronomic affair. Remy is the most expensive restaurant on the ship. Remy does have a strict dress code. Men must wear a jacket, dress shirt, dress pants, and nice shoes. Women must wear cocktail dress, evening dress, pantsuit, or skirt and blouse. No jeans, shorts, capri pants, sandals, flip-flops, or tennis shoes are allowed. For dinner, they have the prefix menu. In addition to the prefix menu, you can also use their a la carte to select your own. We did the dinner and just changed it up just a little bit because I don't like fish. And I also added the beef pairing. It was some of the best I've ever had. And I really loved having the two of them together for a little tasting comparison. It was an extra, extra charge, but well worth it. Reservations are available once you do your online check-in, and if you are interested in doing Remy, I would reserve that right away. In addition to the dining at dinner, they also have three extraordinary dining experiences. They have the champagne brunch. You can indulge your palate during an excellent champagne brunch featuring a glass of bubbly and a French-inspired pre-fix meal. 
that includes delicacies such as vegetable risotto, lobster cannelloni, sea bass, veal, gnocchi, and a decadent dessert. The Remy Dessert Experience is a five-course dessert menu served with coffee. This is an adult-only event. It also includes an in-depth discussion with Remy's executive chef and pastry chef. They will take turns explaining the history and evolution of each sweet selection. And the Petite Assise de Remy, I know I'm saying that wrong, but I'm trying. They embark on a tour of Remy and a six-course wine tasting paired with small plates of gourmet cuisine. This is hosted by Remy's executive chef and the sommelier. This unique tiny plates dining experience is offered during the early evening hours on the first day of your cruise and concludes with dessert at the private chef's table. These dining events are offered during cruises of four nights or longer. So check your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app once you're on board for specific dates and times. Animator's Palette is a savory fusion of Pacific Island foods, Asian cooking, and fresh California fare. Some of the appetizers there include smoked salmon tartare, wild mushroom risotto, and black truffle pasta persuettes with a champagne sauce. The pasta persuettes are by far my favorite. We actually ordered two because they disappear, and they're not just a favorite for us. I've heard from practically everybody that I've talked to that's been on a cruise that they love those. They're just really good. They have main course selections that include Pacific black cod, lemon thyme marinated organic chicken breast, Angus beef tenderloin, and white shrimp penne pasta. We've had the chicken breast and the beef tenderloin and they're both really good. For dessert, they have options such as creme brulee, peanut butter mousse, or a classic ice cream sundae. We always go for the creme brulee. It's just a favorite. Animator's Palette is a colorful restaurant filled with everything you would expect to find in an animator's studio. Character sketches, light boxes, paint brushes, colored pencils, computer workstations, and other tools of the animation trade delightfully decorate the venue. And scenes and characters from popular Disney films adorn the walls, creating a one-of-a-kind ambiance sure to captivate the entire family. The dinner shows include undersea magic, where you can immerse yourself in the underwater world of Finding Nemo. As you dine, enjoy a visit from some of your favorites, Finding Nemo friends, via spectacular digital animation and puppetry. You may even share in a conversation with Crush, the totally tubular turtle. We really enjoy Animator's Palette. It's a lot of fun, and the food is really good also. At the Royal Palace, you can dine like royalty on French-inspired Continental Fair at this enchanting restaurant inspired by classic Disney princess films. A feast fit for a king and queen. By imperial decree, distinguished guests are invited to savor a mouth-watering menu of French and American cuisine daily. Dinner will consist of French and continental fare in four courses. Some of their dishes include the pomegranate glazed duck breast, spinach souffle, or the ice lobster and jumbo shrimp. You can also dive into Belle's French onion soup or an avocado citrus salad. Their French onion soup is so good. If you like it, I definitely recommend trying that one. Some of their main course selections include Angus grilled beef tenderloin and lobster medallions, Dijon crusted rack of lamb, and roasted wild boar tenderloin. I'm just really a beef girl. I love to get the steaks, and it was really good. Royal Palace has the Grand Marnier Souffle. We really like that one. An apple tart or a Tahitian vanilla creme brulee. Also, if you like, you can always order a Mickey bar. It's not on the menu, but they'll bring it. The Royal Palace puts you in the center of a classic Disney fairy tale. Much of their design is modeled after the classic Disney films, including Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Sleeping Beauty, and Beauty and the Beast. This decor includes marble floors, a luxurious rose carpet, an elaborate chandelier brimming with glass slippers and roses, along with hand-painted portraits of Disney princesses, Aurora, Cinderella, Snow White, and Belle on the walls. There's also a marble entryway inlaid with a royal crest featuring a pumpkin coach, glass slipper, rose and tiara, demonstrate the attention to detail Disney is known for. Adding to the magic, the circular floor plan, fluted columns, and iron railings that grace the restaurant are all faithfully recreated from the ballroom scene in the Disney animated movie, Cinderella. So the royal palace is where you really get to dine like a king and queen. And of course, the prince and princess for your little ones. The royal palace is also available for breakfast and lunch. Make sure you check the times. I think they're only open for about an hour and a half. You have 24 hour room service, cabana's buffet, and quick service on deck if you miss those times. If you want just a nice leisurely sit down breakfast, make sure you check the times they're open. For breakfast, they have things like French toast, omelets, scrambled eggs, pancakes, crepes, etc. They also have specialty drinks like cappuccino and espresso. Those will be an additional charge. The regular coffee is included, but the specialty drinks do have an additional cost. For lunch, they have entrees such as the herb-crusted North Atlantic whitefish, grilled chicken breast with rosemary potatoes, or honey glazed barbecue pork ribs. They also have a full wine list and specialty drinks, as well as smoothies. And of course, those will be an additional charge. They also have vegetarian and children's menus available. The Enchanted Garden features a market-style menu of flavors from around the world at this restaurant inspired by the Gardens of Versailles. 
For dinner, they have market fresh ingredients. Some of their options to begin with include North Atlantic lobster ravioli, an ahi tuna and avocado tower, and curried carrot and apple soup. The main courses include roasted pork tenderloin, pan-seared sea bass, portobello mushrooms, and a marjoram-scented organic chicken. The sea bass is extremely popular. I'm not a fish person, but I have heard from multiple people that that sea bass is amazing. Desserts will include an almond meringue cake, chocolate torte, steamed lemon buttermilk pudding, or banana sundae. Dine in a serene splendor that recalls an elegant conservative amid the foothills in France. The restaurant is home to custom glass flower lights, white trellises, ornamental posts, and at the center, a delightful seven-foot-tall cascading fountain featuring a fanciful stone cherub, Mickey Mouse. Along the walls, frescoes of rolling hills mingling with lush greenery amid a magnificent blue sky add to the idyllic ambiance. Dining at Enchanted Garden means you can expect something magical to happen. During the course of your dinner, the restaurant's sweeping ceiling changes from a brilliant blue daytime color into the golden red of a setting sun, transforming finally into a captivating nighttime constellation of twinkling stars. Additionally, flower light fixtures bloom and become bathed in color. Decorative wall sconces fall away to become folding fans. Wall paintings project a dusky illumination and the centerpiece fountain is flooded with shimmering light. Cabanas is a novel, free-flowing restaurant experience serving made-to-order mouth-watering specialties. During breakfast and lunch, wander the boardwalk, home to over 10 diverse food stations, and partake in an eclectic menu of freshly prepared culinary classics. At dinner time, the restaurant is transformed into a table service dining experience where entrees are cooked to order in the show kitchen. For breakfast and lunch, an almost endless array of classic American breakfast fare, Cabanas is the perfect start to the new day. And of course, they have your Mickey waffles in there. Lunch at Cabanas includes salads, soups, burgers, sandwiches, steak, chicken, seafood, and pizza. They also have desserts, sodas, and coffee. They also have vegetarian and kids menus available. Cabanas has indoor and outdoor seating. Adding to the fun, a dramatic 30-foot long handcrafted mosaic from Finding Nemo can be found on the wall, as well as a decorative art piece illustrating the five Disney castles. Right outside Cabanas, there is a drink station that includes free soda, coffee, tea, and I believe they also have milk. Let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite dish? Or what are you most looking forward to trying once you get on the ship? Lounges, bars, and alcohol. There's an adults-only part of the ship known as the District, home to mixed drinks at Skyline and Pink, live televised sporting events at 687 Pub, and dancing at Evolution. Savor a cocktail as the virtual view at Skyline transports you to the most fascinating cities around the globe. Developed by Disney Imagineering, the unique windows to the world, aerial city views are a true technological marvel. You can gaze at a different city every 15 minutes, from London to Barcelona or Hong Kong to New York. Look closely and you'll spot taxis speeding along and silhouettes of residents closing their windows. And you may just find Mickey Mouse waving from a corner balcony in London. You can also cozy up to Skyline's unique digital fireplace and enjoy a world-class cocktail to wind down your evening. Pink is a wine and champagne bar. Pink is designed to look like the inside of a champagne bottle. Amid elegant drapery, cool marble, and polished wood, Pink Wine and Champagne Bar features sculpted light fixtures, reminiscent of champagne flutes, and backlit glass bubbles. Looking at the glittering walls, you can see the famous pink elephants from the beloved Disney film Dumbo dancing as you top off the evening with a champagne toast. You can also try the famous full champagne tasting at Pink Wine and Champagne Bar, nibble on chocolate chips provided prior, and just after each champagne tasting. You'll find that the flavor of chocolate is enhanced. The four flutes include the Prestige Rosé, Tattinger Brut La Francais, Moet and Chandon Ice Imperial, the only champagne created to be served over ice. The two Tattinger champagnes were created and bottled by the vineyard exclusively for pink. Pub 687 is a contemporary sports bar where families can partake in activities and games during the day and adults take refuge at night. This modern interpretation of a traditional lounge features sophisticated yet friendly and inviting atmosphere. There are rich details including overflowing trophy cases, a stamped metal ceiling, and leather upholstered club chairs. Watch sports and events with your personal small fan club on the flat screen LCD television in your own vacant seating and there's a more massive plasma screen TV with digital surround sound for those really big games. Throughout the day, this lively lounge hosts a variety of entertaining activities, games, and competitions like movie, music, and sports trivia contests where the whole family can participate. After 9 p.m., Pub 687 transforms into a laid-back refuge where adults can enjoy sports games and trivia along with a nice refreshing brew, wine, or mixed drink. Evolution is their dance club. It caters to adults only, offering dancing, games, karaoke, comedy, and cabaret. Inspired by one of nature's most beautiful winged creatures, the 
Club's an artistic interpretation of the transformation of a butterfly. Dynamic, unique, and vibrant. Evolution evokes a sense of emerging from a chrysalis. Evolution is also host to a number of entertainment options for the entire family during the day. These include dance classes, bingo, and arts and crafts. At night, it's the place to be seen for large-scale, adults-only entertainment, such as theme parties and reviews. They also have creative signature specialty concoctions from the Supreme Monarch Mixologist, so make sure you check those out. In addition to those nightclubs, bars, and lounges located in the district area, they also have tastings with things like chocolate and liquor, wine tasting, whiskey tasting. It's an hour class. They'll give you multiple tastings, and it's just a lot of fun. They also have Currents. This is the open-air bar perched high on Deck 13. Cove Cafe is an adults-only lounge. It's the perfect place to take time out for specialty drinks, coffee, beverage offerings, or tea throughout the day. During the evening, guests can unwind while socializing and enjoying cocktails, wine, or a light bite. The District Lounge has a relaxed piano bar featuring entertainment and live music nightly. A lively yet intimate retreat with cozy ambiance and an upscale, futuristic design. Get the evening started with your favorite cocktail from the full-service bar while listening to live piano and guest vocalists. The D Lounge is where families can sing, dance, play games, and enjoy live entertainment as a family at this high-energy entertainment venue. At D-Lounge, you're the star with family-friendly entertainment like karaoke, trivia game shows, and dance parties. As the sun sets, D-Lounge transforms into a family-friendly nightclub featuring lively dance parties and fun contests. Check your Disney Cruise Line Navigator once you're on board for specific times and activities. The Vista Cafe is an Art Deco inspired cafe. You can enjoy coffee and pastries in the morning or pre or post dinner cocktail at night. At Meridian, you can imbibe in a cocktail at the sophisticated indoor and outdoor lounge. This is situated right between Palo and Remy. Overlooking the back of the ship, Meridian provides spectacular ocean view seating. Inspired by the early days of sea travel, the lounge's decor feature a sextant navigational tool embedded in the floor. While leather maps embossed with passport stamps from around the world adorn the walls and a constellation map lit up with twinkling celestial markings hangs overhead. While there you can also purchase a cigar from the fine assortment available at the smoke bar. To preserve the elegant atmosphere you are asked to adhere to a dress code when lounging at Meridian. Inside dress pants and a shirt is required for men and a dress or pantsuit is required for women. On the outside deck of Meridian the dress code is cruise casual. Bon voyage is where you can toast to a good journey with a refreshing beverage at the sophisticated Art Deco retreat located in the Grand Atrium. Serving cocktails, coffees, juices, and sodas, this full-service bar is a great place to meet up with loved ones while at sea. And a quick note, you can get sodas on the pool deck right outside of Cabana's. They will have a whole beverage station where you can get free sodas, coffee, tea, etc. Also exclusively for adults, they'll have the fitness center and spa. Since this spa and salon also includes the rainforest room. The rainforest room is also an additional charge. My favorite thing there are the heated loungers and the hot tubs. If you're interested, make sure you check into that. They also have a sports and fitness center, specifically for adults, and the treadmills look over the water. Really beautiful place to work out. They also have classes, yoga, etc. Check into that if that's important to you. Satellite Falls is an adult exclusive wading pool. At this peaceful wading pool, a gentle rain curtain cascades from a giant sphere, integrating the ship's large round satellite transmitters into its design. Nearby, the satellite sun deck has a shaded area with a glass wraparound enclosure, offering lounge chairs on a first come, first serve basis. Satellite Falls is just steps away from the adults only quiet cove pool area where you can swim and enjoy the relaxation of a whirlpool spa and cove cafe. Operating hours may vary so check your navigator for that. Outlook is an elegant cocktail lounge on deck 14. This midship offers ocean views and a contemporary decor that make it a lovely intimate locale for onboard weddings, vow renewals, and commitment ceremonies. If you're planning any of those, definitely check into that. The ship's radio studio is also located on deck 14. I'm not going to go into all the activities in this video. There's there's just too many. Some of our favorites are the sail away party on deck, the pop-up character dance parties in the atrium. Those are not scheduled, you just have to be in the right place at the right time. We also really love watching movies at Funnel Vision late in the evening that usually ends at about 12, so we'll go there at about 11 or so. And our favorite game show is Match Your Mate. It's adults only and it's so funny. You definitely want to check that one out. Adult activities include music trivia, TV trivia, animation classes, cooking classes, wine tastings, alcohol tastings, bingo, which can also include family as well, and bingo is an additional charge, as well as the alcohol tastings. They have port shopping talks, gem seminars, and of course any of the family activities. Another fun thing for adults can be to go to the kids clubs during the open house. They have some fun stuff in there. The pirate party is another one of our favorite activities, and Disney Cruise Line is the only cruise line that has a 
license for fireworks at sea. They also have a huge movie screen out by the pool. This is what they call funnel vision. And there'll be movies playing there throughout the day. We really love to go there at the end of the evening and just cap off the night with a little bit of hot tea and some funnel vision. Either that or room service in the room. It kind of depends. And if you really like the Mickey bars, you can get those from room service as well. They're not on the menu, but they are available. Put those in between the chocolate chip cookies and make an ice cream sandwich. There's also the Quiet Cove pool, which is 18 and over. And that area will have a pool, a hot tub, and the adults only coffee shop. For the children, there are Mickey pool and the Donald pool. The Mickey pool is located on deck 11, midship. The area is designed for youngsters and features a whimsical one deck high slide. It's open daily from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And this is also where kids can join in cast member led games and activities at various times throughout the day. It's important to note that lounge chairs are on a first come first serve basis and you cannot hold them for extensive amounts of time with your stuff. Mickey's pool slide, supported by a gargantuan glove Mickey hand, the cheerful yellow slide at Mickey's pool twists and turns, beginning one deck above the pool and splashing down right next to it, all while providing children with an exciting yet safe ride. This attraction is intended for guests ages 4 to 14 years. Guests must also be between 38 and 64 inches to use the slide. In addition to those two pools, they also have the aqueduct, which is their first water coaster at sea. It's a raft that can hold two people, and it does go over the side of the ship over the water, which is pretty cool. There's also lights at night, so it's a different experience. Make sure and check both of those out. There's also the Goofy Sports Deck. This open air activity center features a miniature golf course, virtual sports simulators, and a basketball court. The golf course is included, and there is an additional charge for the sports simulators. Featuring realistic graphics and sounds, virtual sports simulators allow you to kick, swing, throw, and compete in some of your favorite active sports while out at sea, without the hassle of having to chase a ball. Set the sports simulator to your ability level and experience basketball, football, hockey, golf, soccer, or baseball. You can play soccer or baseball with Goofy, pal around with friends, practice your technique, or you can select a tee off on more than 60 golf courses, or try a sport for the first time. They also have a midship detective agency. The midship detective agency is a self-guided journey. This interactive game is great fun for everybody. To start, you visit the self-serve kiosk at the midship detective agency to get debriefing instructions from Mickey and pick up your detective badge and case book. Then get ready for a fun-filled adventure. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will take you all over the ship. Use your uniquely barcoded detective badge and the ship map in your case book to unveil clues, rule out suspects, take notes, and ultimately crack your chosen case. Your badge's barcode will track your progress so you can stop and start the game as you please. Can you identify the culprit and solve the crime before it's too late? We had a lot of fun with that. The first time I tried it was on the dream and I wanted to start really late in the evening and you can't actually start it after about 10 or 11 o'clock I believe because that one station where you start everything kind of goes down for the night. So just make sure and do that part before it gets too late and then you can go around to the pictures at any time. We really enjoyed doing that late at night when everybody else was asleep. Let us know in the comments below what's your favorite activity on the ship nemo's reef is located at deck 11 midship it's a 1500 square foot splash deck features fountains bubblers and pop jets and of course some of movies most memorable stars giant sea anemones coral and seaweed create a cool ocean floor atmosphere while water spouting characters keep kids coming back again and again this particular area is for children eight and under the area includes character figures that move and spray water a kid-sized water slide shaped like mr ray the singing science teacher, a water curtain that moves back and forth, and Pearl, the adorable little octopus who inks herself with a mist of water. Designed with kids' comfort and safety in mind, Nemo's Reef features shaded protection from the sun, a soft, wet deck surface, and a glass enclosure with a main guest entrance and a wheelchair accessible entrance. And of course, children must be supervised at all times. Operating hours may vary, so check your navigator for that. For tweens, they have Edge. Edge provides guests aged 11 to 14 with their own special hangout where they can connect with other other tweens from around the world. Equipped with high-tech entertainment, including flat screen TVs, computers and video games, and featuring daily guided activities, this interactive play space is bound to become your tween's favorite on-ship destination. Operating hours may vary, but Edge is open daily from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. Some of the daily activities include That's Hilarious, which consists of some improv, comedy, and dancing. Heroes and Villains, where teams compete to solve clues, complete challenges, and ultimately win a final prize. Crowning of the Couch Potato, where they can test their movie knowledge in an outrageous trivia contest. A Pirate's Life for Me, compete in physical challenges and answer trivia questions about scalawags and buccaneers of yore to see who will claim the infamous pearl. And the Descendants Den DJ spinoff, photo booth, DJ lessons, fun games, 
sing, dance, laugh. It's the next generation of fun, descendant style. They have so much fun for these kids at the kids club. It makes me a little bit jealous. I've heard the big thing is to make sure they're there for the first night for icebreakers. It just kind of helps them bond with the group. There's also a place for families called the Funnel Puddle. This is on deck 12. It's basically a family waiting pool. They do have lounge chairs and operation hours may vary. For ages six months to three years, they have the Small World Nursery. You do have to reserve that and it is an additional fee per hour. Children ages three to 12 years can interact with Disney characters and explore multi-themed magical lands at the Oceaneer Youth Club. The state-of-the-art magic play floor lets kids control the action as they move. From a simulated tilt maze to fantastical forays into their favorite Disney films. On a 103 inch plasma screen, kids can watch movies and interact with Crush, the animated sea turtle from Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. Crush chats with his audience in real time, asking questions about the kids themselves and their human world. In surfer speak, it's totally cool, dude. Oceaneer's Club includes Andy's Room, Disney's Infinity Game Room, where you can test your skills with archery, or summon your inner Picasso with Infinity Draw. They have Pixie Hollow, which has the whimsical world of Tinkerbell and her fairy friends, and Star Wars with the Millennium Falcon. You can join the Rebel Alliance in this intergalactic arena. In addition to arts and crafts, kids can design a starship, train like a Jedi, or climb into Han Solo's cockpit and send the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy soaring through the Star Wars universe. Get ready for Disney character experiences as well. Disney's Once Upon a Time, Puzzle Playtime with Mickey and Friends has Mickey Mouse and company stop by to play some games with Disney Cruise Line's youngest seafarers and their families. And with Jedi training, they can take their first step into a larger world as they learn the ways of the Force. They also have the Oceaneers Lab for ages 3 to 12. At the Oceaneers Lab, they have Animator's Studio, where they can create original hand-drawn art, learn to sketch their favorite Disney pals, or design computer animated characters and watch them come to life. They have a craft studio with hands-on arts and crafts, a media room with beanbag chairs and Disney movies, as well as video games or reading. Food is also served in this spacious play area, which also hosts numerous activities throughout the day. And they also have Playmation, where they can battle villains, complete missions, and save mankind all by joining forces with Marvel's The Avengers. They also have the Wheelhouse. They can hunt for lost treasure in Tides of Fortune, a multiplayer Pirates of the Caribbean game exclusive to Disney Cruise Line. Using computers, large LCD screens, and navigation simulators, Buccaneers to be can even steer their ship through the mysterious Caribbean seas. They also have guided group activities, Get the Hook, where you find Captain Hook's favorite dress hook, Monsters Inc. Open Mike Night, Help Mike Wazowski and the Gang Rescue, Monstropolis, Put on a Comedy Show and Collect Laughter, Piston Cup Challenge, You can build race cars from bars of soap for good clean fun, Stitch's Adventure Squad, where they help Stitch capture several genetic experiments, and Super Sloppy Science with Professor Mako Mess, where they will stir up some outrageous discoveries, laugh, learn, and turn the lab upside down with the world famous scientist who loves leaving a trail of mayhem behind. For ages 14 to 17, they have Vibe. Vibe provides guests with their own special place where they can break off from the family and connect with other teens from around the world. Designed with their interests in mind, Vibe aboard the Disney Dream has the look and feel of a hip urban night spot with multiple areas, a secret entrance, and its own outdoor deck space. Vibe's Hangout Central is its high-tech media room where teens can watch movies or play video games on a 103-inch LCD screen with digital surround sound. In a separate stage area, talent shows, karaoke contests, and dance competitions let teens own the spotlight. A dance floor and video wall set the stage for day and night dance parties, and aspiring DJs can even spin and mix tracks. For a more mellow experience, they can recline in their own built-in oval wall pod and game or watch a movie on a personal video screen. Vibe's outdoor sun deck at the ship's bow lets teens work on their tan without ever having to leave their private club. Deck games such as ping pong, foosball, and old school board games set on a giant checker floored floor offer further amenities. To ensure that Vibe remains a space that's just for them, teens must present a special coded key to the world card to access the lounge. The silver door and the hallway that they use to get into the lounge is really cool. They also have a coffee bar, which has a wide selection of non-alcoholic beverages, including fruit smoothies and more. And just be aware that those are an additional charge. While designated as a teens only hangout, Vibe is chaperoned by some of the coolest counselors at sea in a laid back way that allows teens to feel as unrestricted and comfortable as they can possibly be. Before the cruise, my son was not interested 
interested at all in any of the kid or teens clubs. Once we got on the ship, I encouraged him to go check out Vibe that night because I had heard that the first night was a big deal for connecting with the group. Once he went to Vibe, it was very hard to get him out of there. I did let him skip the stage shows, but he did have to show up for dinner. But that was about all we got because he just loved that club. And he still has friends to this day from that cruise. Tinder Lobby and Health Center will both be on deck one. The Tinder Lobby is used if you have to take a tender to port. In some areas, the ship can go up to port and you can just get off on the dock. In other areas, they need to stay out at sea a little bit and that's when you take a tender boat. Staterooms on the Disney Dream. Designed with families in mind, Disney Cruise Line staterooms aboard the Disney Dream are among the foremost in the industry. Each stateroom is equipped with innovations that ensure the ultimate in comfort and relaxation for guests of all ages. Each stateroom category has at least two selections within it. We're just going to go over the general stateroom categories. Inside is the base accommodations featuring a classic nautical motif, porthole mirror, and no exterior view. Ocean view, enjoy more space than standard and scenic vistas through a real porthole window or possibly two. Veranda is the most spacious non-concierge stateroom, each with a private veranda and some with partial views. Concierge is the most luxurious accommodations, each with a large private veranda and premium amenities and services. We've had both ocean view and veranda rooms, and I like them both. It depends on what you're looking for for that cruise. The ocean view can be a little bit more affordable, and being able to see the ocean was enough for me. And when I'm traveling with my fiance, we prefer the veranda. We like to get coffee from room service and just enjoy it out there. We also enjoy having wine and cheese out on the veranda later in the day. And of course, there's shopping on the Disney Cruise Line. Visit the Vista Gallery to view Disney Cruise Line art by some legendary Disney artists and collectibles featuring many of your favorite Disney characters. They have Mickey's main sale. There you can find specially designed Disney Cruise Line merchandise, costumes, and accessories. Sea Treasures is where you will find collectibles that can only be found aboard the ships. White Caps is your one-stop seagoing shop stocked with everything from sundries and fragrances to designer handbags and fine jewelry. Tiffany and company are on board where you can indulge in the quintessential elegance, timeless style, and sheer brilliance of Tiffany designs. Shutters Photography is where you can view your cruise photos, create albums, and arrange private portrait sessions at their onboard photo shop. Vanellope Sweets and Treats, race on down to this decadent dessert shop inspired by the super sweet arcade game from Disney's Wreck-It Ralph. Enjoy a sugar rush with hand scoop gelato, fresh waffle cones, baked treats, and candy in a wide variety of delicious flavors. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is where your little ones can transform into a princess, knight, or sea captain. You need to book an appointment for this enchanted salon. Kids can enjoy a magical makeover, including hairstyling, costumes, makeup, and more. Watch our fairy godmother-inspired stylist turn your child into an elegant princess, a valiant knight, or a swashbuckling seafarer. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique packages offer themed costumes, plus styling and accessories that will have kids ready for a royal ball or a daring adventure. With a sensational new look and a dash of imagination is an experience they'll remember happily ever after. They have multiple packages listed on the site. I'm not going to go into all of those here, so just go check that out if that's something you're interested in. The Walt Disney Theater provides a dramatic setting that reflects a sense of excitement you might feel attending a star-studded gala. It is home to some of the finest entertainment in the cruise industry, from Disney original musicals to fun-filled variety acts. In addition to live entertainment, the Walt Disney Theater also plays host to Disney movie premieres, allowing Disney Cruise Line guests to attend a film's nationwide opening at the same time it debuts on shore. They are also the first to bring you 3D movies at sea. The Walt Disney Theater now combines state-of-the-art digital 3D projectors and in-theater special effects for a whole new dimension in your movie-going experience. The theater decor recalls a bygone elegance of movie houses, yet behind the curtain you'll find a technological marvel. Adorned with Art Deco and Art Nouveau flourishes, from the 1930s and 1940s, the Walt Disney Theater is a luxurious venue designed to handle today's most complex productions. Live productions are performed two times each evening to take dining schedules into consideration. On the Disney Dream, the theater is located on decks 3 and 4. Forward, the Buena Vista Theater is equipped with the latest in motion picture and sound technology, presenting full-length feature films shot in Disney Digital 3D to create an immersive movie-going experience like none other at sea. Check Personal Navigator for movie times and listings. There are some other locations listed on board that I'm just basically going to tell you they're there because you just need to dive into them if you need them. So they have the port shopping where you can find out about what to shop for in the ports. They have shutters which is where you'll get your 
portraits and any Disney Cruise Line photographer photos on board. They have Connect at Sea. Wi-Fi is not included in your cruise and anybody at the Connect at Sea desk can help you with setting your phone settings. If you do purchase some Wi-Fi, you don't want all of your automatic background stuff to eat it up. So Connect at Sea can help with that. There's a track on deck four that you can use for jogging or walking. It grows around the entire perimeter. Port Adventures is where you can look and see what Port Adventures might still be available. We did it. That's everything on the Disney Dream. If there's something I forgot, please let me know because I really tried to get absolutely everything in here. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Make sure you ring that little bell if you want to know whenever we have any new information. And we'll see you real soon with some more Disney's.